welcome to Recipes Tested. I'm Brianna Robinson, and today I'm gonna be teaming up with Chef Ben, like I have in previous episodes, with a super delicious looking soup. This is his bacon and corn chowder, and he posted this on Instagram about a week ago, and I saw it, and it, just, it not only does it look amazing, if you're not following Ben already, stop what you're doing and go do that, because he has the like the best food Instagram I've ever seen. He is a chef, but he makes his food in a way that's just incredible, but also so simplified. And every recipe I've ever tried from him has been outrageously good, outrageously easy in the sense that you're making at home food. Obviously, popping dino nuggets in the oven is not that hard, but his food tastes great. His Instagram is fabulous. So give him a follow and let him know that I sent you. But I'm gonna be making this recipe. He said that this is the first recipe that his mom ever taught him and I thought that was like the sweetest thing ever. So I wanted to make this. It's the perfect first week of fall food for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and get going. But if you wanna see how this recipe turns out, just keep watching and I'll get testing. So this soup had a little bit of prep. I got first going on chopping up my four strips of bacon. And then I diced up my half of a small onion. My family's not too big on onions, so I just did a half, but I took off the yucky skin and then cut it up. I'm not too good at cutting onions. They're kind of weird. But then once that was all in itty bitty little pieces, I got to cooking my potatoes. And while the, that cooled, I cooked my onion and my bacon. And when that was almost done, I heated up my milk and cream corn and then added my cooked cooled potatoes to my pot with the bacon and onion, stirred that around and then added in my cream mixture, my milk mixture to my pot and mixed it, added salt and pepper, and then fresh parsley. And that's as simple as this soup is. So, soup's done. It smells incredible. It only took, what, 20 minutes? So I'm gonna sneak a little bit here before dinner and give it a taste and let you know if it's love at first bite. It smells really creamy, like the creamed corn really comes through right now. Mm. This is really good. It's very creamy tasting. Like the cream finish is really strong. The potatoes, so I boiled them just before fork tender so that they wouldn't turn mushy. And so they have enough chew to them to give this soup some substance. And because we used the creamed corn, it still has a little bit of a pop of freshness from the corn kernels. This is really, really good. The only thing I think I would say is if you're one of those people that likes your chowders a little bit more, kind of like a stew thickness and not so like runny, just add a teaspoon of cornstarch and water in and to thicken it up. So Ben, thank you so much for sharing this recipe with all of us and letting me test it out. It really means a lot. This is a really, really awesome soup. I'm glad your mom taught it to you. But again, go give Ben a follow and tell him I sent you and tell him how awesome his food looks because really, sharing is caring. But it just warms my heart being able to share these recipes with you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and hanging out with me today. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out Ben's Instagram. Starting October 1st, I have a very fun, festive event coming up. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.